mentioned the, uh, the, the, the the lawsuit between Front Row and 2311 and NASCAR. Have you read yeah. it? Have you gone through everything? I haven't read it, but I do pay attention just because I'm curious like everybody else. And, um, you know, I want to see the sport do better, and I also just want to be educated. So I do feel like I've read up on it a little bit and um, listened to Richard's thoughts a few minutes ago and just try to try to keep perspective on everything, I guess. But it doesn't really – it doesn't affect me personally. So I, I feel like, um, you know, at the moment, so I just try to focus on my job. Um, but I do – get informed when I have time. As you're educating yourself, what has like jumped out to you? Like, wow, I didn't know that, or that's interesting, or that kind of thing. Um, I don't know, just, I won't really go into details, but I guess overall, the perspective of the sport and what they're fighting for and, and what that means. And um, I think in the long term, I'd like to see our sport be more prosperous. I feel like in watching other professional sports and, and where we could be, I, I, I am excited for that. So hopefully that, um, comes to fruition. You mentioned well, other professional sports. What would you like to see that maybe they do that can be integrated into NASCAR, whatever the result of this lawsuit is? I just, I don't know. I just feel like this sport has a lot of opportunity and it's very entertaining. I have a lot of friends that watch and um, yeah, I just think it could, we could stand to continue to evolve. You brought up last week, William, in your post-race interview about um, the team's gotten a lot of BS over the summer. Is, is that something that's legitimately bothered you guys about comments about the performance and our, our questions about the summer, um, the summer slump? It doesn't bother me that people say or notice, but it bothers me that we're not that much different than any other team. If you look statistically, we we have nine top fives and 15 top tens, and that's right in line with the other five or six guys that we're racing. So uh, yes, we haven't had a stellar season, based on what we did last year especially, but um, but we are still plugging along. We're still finishing finishing races up in the front, in the top two or three, and um, you know we just need to continue that. So uh, yeah, I think it just, it bothers me that we get treated a little bit differently because everyone this year has been, for the most part, pretty inconsistent. But uh, I think for us, just trying to continue to put weeks together and plug away and, and try to put back-to-back -back weeks together, it's tough when you go you know, mile and a half to a speedway. You don't really have control of that result. So, um, so yeah, just trying to do more of that. So more do you feel like you guys aren't looked at as contenders in this playoff, in the playoff? No, I, I don't know. It's just, I feel like there's a microscope on, there's a certain narrative out there of like, hey, they're not good in the summertime. And I don't, I don't know if that's completely true. I think we, I think we had certain races that were great in the summertime. And then we had certain weeks that we weren't, weren't that great. But um, that's, you could look across the whole garage. That's pretty consistent. Do you think maybe that you're held to a higher standard because you're the 24 car? No, I think it's just, I think, like I said, I think there was just a narrative out there that, hey, they don't perform at this time of year. And um, I don't think that's necessarily accurate. We we put a lot of effort in. I know how much effort my guys put in to bring fast race cars. And a lot of weeks we had fast race cars. You know, Iowa comes to mind. Indianapolis, we had a great race car. We just, we got wrecked and um, things like that happened. So, um, I think we're just focused on us and trying to have good weeks and hopefully hopefully this week's another good one. You've always been fast to Daytona and Atlanta. What's kept you out of Victory Lane here and where does Talladega rank among tracks you've not won at? Um, I don't know where it ranks, but yeah, I've had some good results here, but uh, as you guys know, it's it's unpredictable. I feel like I'm a pretty good plate racer, but you know, I'd say Ryan, I'd say Denny, you know, there's a few guys, Joey, that, that are really good and consistent. Um, and I, I like to be up there a little bit more and just got to continue to work on our cars and work on my, you know, drafting ability. And um, yeah, I mean, the, the biggest thing here is saving fuel and how that factors in. So trying to be good at that as well.